Welcome to another installment of uh, Connecting Parallel Lines with Good Stories. I don't know why we called it that, because I can't even say the word. It's because you're stupid. It's fine. Uh, my name is Dogo Zumkize, and this is, this is my little brother. Uh, Stop referring to me as little, because I am older by virtue of the fact that I'm married and I've had kids. Respect Sorry, the institution. Of what? Of children? Of, of fatherhood. Guys, Tula's wife is probably pregnant again. That's, that's, <laughs> that's how intense and how much he loves kids. <laughs> you to do this. So, welcome back. Um, I will briefly explain why we called it parallel lines. So, we have you and you are living your life and I'm living my great life and the only thing that brings us together is good stories because I hate you. I had a conversation with mom. She confirmed that you and I are not black brothers. So she said the same thing about you on the WhatsApp group that we started about you. Exactly. No, it's about you, but we're not gonna add you. Okay. Anyway, so so guys, this is the only show where we bring people in and have guests that we awkwardly live by themselves to have a conversation. Um, so today we have uh, Iskim Sami, uh, Mohan, uh, and we have Us Iskim Zile. Uh, and, and I think this is going to be an interesting conversation that we probably should be having. Um, we will just get to know each other a little bit better and, and start the show. Yeah. Hey, and let's just hope lines connect at some point. Definitely. I, I think they will. Yeah. Cool. I hope the lines connect. Let's leave them to it. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And that day gone? It's, it's too much. <laughs> it's really too much. They tried jokes. <laughs> but shame, they tried. They did. Yeah, they now did. we can have some girl talk. Yes, let's do that. Yes. Okay, so I'm Morao. I know you tried to say my name, but please try again. <laughs> Mughao. 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 Okay, Don't make close, me do it. No, it's I'm okay. Sorry. It's close enough. It's all okay, right. cool. And Pumzile, right? Yes. Nice Pumzile. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Cool. <laughs> um, look, so I'm going to use this thing that they gave us. No um, problem. Because we're going to see how our lives basically, how we lived our lives parallel each other without even knowing it. Cool. Cool. Go with that. Why did they start in 2005 for you? <laughs> I gave them. <laughs> I told them. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's nothing much really. I was just like, well, check, I'm gonna check it in 2005, and yeah, that's what's that. Okay, and you were the first black head girl. Yes, I was. Where? Kingsway High School in oh, Namanzi Toti. Yeah, so it was a very weird setup. Um, grade 11, um, they're calling out the prefects. I probably wasn't the head girl, but I feel like there was a revolution where they were like tired. So it was like, head girl 2005, and then the school shouted. I think Mr. Oh. Fanamarwa was just like, okay. Nice. Just to stop. Was it an all girls school? No. It was co ed. Okay, yeah. cool. So, weird story. I was head girl in primary oh, school. Nice. Yes. Okay. So, but I think our high school lives were probably very different. You went to all girls I was. I went to an all girls school. Okay. But I was the furthest thing from even being a prefect. <laughs> like, <What>? not <laughs> let alone. Like, ghetto. like, yeah, we were the ghetto ones, you know. We were, we called it, we called ourselves 2B. So, I went to a school called St. Mary's, an amazing school, but it was predominantly white. All right. And so um, the, the black girls in the school, we, I think we were the first grade with the most black girls at oh that school. Uh, but I mean, they were okay. very welcoming. Yeah. The school was amazing. Um, and yeah, we called ourselves 2B, so <laughs> too really? black. Oh, wow. Okay. Because at, at, at that school, they use forms. So you wouldn't say um, grade 8 or what's the other one? Standards. Yes. We used form 1, form 2. So in, in form 2, um, I think they had the class with the most black kids probably ever in the history of the school and that that class we called 2B so it would always be 2 for the form and then B for whatever the teacher's name was. Do right. you get what okay. I mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so 
We were called to be, and I was definitely not a prefect or even a head girl. It's all right. Yeah. It's there now. Yeah. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> but I was in primary school, so that's, that's yes. close enough. Well done. Well we, done. we have something in common. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then 2006, first year, um, at UKZN, what did you study? BCom, majoring in supply chain and economics. Um, yeah, that was me. Initially, though, I was doing supply chain and finance. And then I dropped finance and I picked up supply chain. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Complete opposite. <laughs> what did you study? I studied audiovisual communication. That's a long name. Yeah, it's like film and television, but um, I did it at UJ, okay. uh, the University of Johannesburg. Um, so it's basically film and television, but it also has like a whole communications. Um, um, side to it where I studied actual communications and I had electives like sociology so yeah. I didn't I never in my life want anything to do with maths and finance and supply chains <laughs> everything here is a supply chain you know yes that, right yeah okay. I just want to be the receiver of all the goods <laughs> okay <fine>. order <laughs> online <laughs> how it gets it doesn't matter but no, it must get here so did you end up working in supply chain yes. management I'm a demand planner Mm -hmm. Currently for um, Cadbury. Demand it, planner. Yes. So you plan demand. What? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> now I look at historical sales, and I forecast what we're going to need in the future. Looking at promotions, um, what our custom, I mean, our competitors are doing. Um, what deals our key account managers can do with the customers, customers being your checkers, pick and pay, et cetera. Or retailers. the big guys, not like individual buyers. No. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it's, it's a bit of a tricky situation, but it's, it's fun. But you work with chocolate. <sighs> I do, I'm over it. Oh, I can imagine. I'm, I'm not over, over it. it, so we're gonna be best friends now because you're gonna be giving me some stock. No problem, I shall, don't worry. Yay! Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, well, um, I did audiovisual communication, like I said. Um, I did a three-year degree in six years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no judgment. Took your time. It's all right. Please don't judge. No. Yeah. None. So <laughs> None. 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 Every time I give talks with kids, I'm like, guys, it's possible. <laughs> um, it you took, can do it. Yeah. <laughs> it took me six years to do my degree right. because I was living life. It was nice. It's <laughs> good. That's good. Um, but yeah, at least I finished. Well done. Um, and now I'm working as an actress, which is not what I was studying for. Okay. Um, but it's along the lines. I want to be a director. So hopefully one day I'll be inviting you to one of my premieres and you can bring lots of chocolate. I shall do that. So that I can worry. give out to the audience. It's a date. Good. Awesome. Um, 2008, Housecom. In varsity. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So I ran for house com. It was very uh, scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you I in was, res? I was, yeah, I was in I was res. Um, Denison residence in, in Marisburg campus. Very famous. For uh, what? Residence. No, no, no. Hmm? It's just a very nice residence. No, tell us for no, what? No, no, no. It was very nice. Like, there was a... It was very nice. I feel like there's a story no, here. No, there's no story <laughs> whatsoever. I was a good girl. Oh, I'm sure. I promise you. How's come? Mm. Come on. You know? It's all you overachievers, actually. That, that, uh, that, that, that do things, get you corn. Nah, I wasn't like that. I had one boyfriend through mm -hmm. adversity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I was definitely not house Um. <laughs> Okay, you are here now. Yes, <laughs> I, I've kind of, you know, gotten my life together. So, um, I started UJ. Uh, I decided that school was moving too slowly for me, so I wanted to work and be in the industry and be on set. So, I went and auditioned for a show called Skim Sum, which is where mm -hmm. I work now. Okay. First audition, I got it. Well and done. ever since then, like, you know, I've been like when you, what is English? Um, so I, 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 I belittled the, the, the schooling system. Oh, okay. Because I was like, nah, guys, I'm on set. 
you know, I work in the industry. What you guys are teaching us here is not what's happening. And I, I gave so much attitude, so I didn't pay attention in school. Um, failed a few courses in the first year. Oh it was horrible. It was horrible. But um, I eventually got my act together. That's good. And I was a part of a day house. Um, a day house. It's like a day res. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, okay. so at UJ, we've got stuff called, um, you've got the normal day reses where people like sleep and live. Yeah. And then, I mean, not day reses, like a normal res. Yeah. And then you have the day reses for, for day students. So okay. you don't live on oh, campus. Nice. So you kind of rest. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a chill spot. Okay. Um, during, during like in between lectures or whatever. Yeah. You've got internet. We've got couches. We had a microwave in ours. The other day, houses didn't have microwaves, so they'd mm. always use ours. We'd have a fridge. So if you pack lunch, you can just pop your stuff in there. And it was, it was a nice place. And the nice thing about ours was that it's um, an all-female okay. day, day rest. So we had a lot of girl talk That's and nice. some sleepovers. Like what you're doing? <coughs> you slept over during the day? Yeah, we weren't supposed to. No, no, no. <laughs> like <laughs> okay. At night. All we weren't right. supposed to, but we did it anyways. So it's fine. Um, cool. So, what was your position in Housecom? Finance portfolio. Finance. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't want to have that social sports and whatnot. So I was like, no, I want to hold the finance portfolio. Oh my god. Why am I so boring? What? No, that's boring. Handle the money. The best. I worked very closely with the social responsibility. Um, that was such a typical girl's role. Yeah, but it's also an important role because <laughs> you, because you, because you actually like you dictate where the direction that the that the house takes in terms of what they care about, you know, during I the year. to handle the money. To eat the money. No. Typical. To handle daggy. the money. Typical. <laughs> daggy. Okay. No, that's cool. At least yeah. you're responsible more than some of us. <laughs> so good for you. Um, so, HIV. Yep. Um, did you guys ever deal with that in house com? Because I mean, at Varsity, obviously, this is, I think for me, it was one of those places where um, we were very exposed to being safe mm. um, and, and living a certain kind of lifestyle. Yeah. And it's something that we did a lot, actually. Like, that's like I said, I did a lot of social responsibility oh, okay. with All our right. house. Yeah. Um, so it's one of those topics that always came up because we're students. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was as, as big. Yes, World AIDS Day, mm. you know, like before that, uh, we'll be out of varsity by then, but we had something prior to that before we left. There was condoms in the bathrooms. In the bathrooms. So many um, condoms. You know, um, there was the time where... Oh my gosh, I just forgot their names. The guys that come and test yes, at like the tech. fields. I forgot the name. But yeah, they came yeah. through and then would go test. Like everyone would go test. So that was as much. Maybe it was me as well. Maybe I wasn't like wanting to know or found out. Mm. I was just stuck to, I'm here to study. Mm. And that's what I'm going to do. And have fun. And have a bit of fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was just there to study. So I wasn't like really focused on AIDS, HIV, condom usage. Yeah, so mm. it was, um, I was just there to study. I actually did a little bit of, I think the organization you're talking about is IOHA. Is it? Not but they come to varsities, I think, yeah. and then they do the whole, at UJ, they, actually they set have up the yes. tents. And then you go in and you have like a one-on-one -on -one with the nurse yes. before they, they taste you, you they taste and then you, you wait are. for the results. Yes. I think it's called Iowa because I actually did some work with them as well in, in okay. varsity. Also part of like the social responsibility stuff. Um, and I think for me... Um, you were much more work than I was. I had to be. Mm. I had to be because I, I... So I was raised by my grandmother. Okay. My grandmother um, was a domestic worker. All right. And she worked for a man called Edwin Cameron. Edwin Cameron became my godfather oh, nice. through my um, my grandmother working for her, uh, for him rather. Mm -hmm. And so Edwin Cameron, a uh, former constitutional court judge, and he's actually very well known for being um, one of the first. Um, not, what's the word? Um, Advocate. Advocates for HIV. 
HIV and AIDS, um, and he's he's also gay. So he's All right, like the I'll Google him. yeah, he's like he's okay. like the pushing guy for 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 HIV and AIDS um, and um, um, homosexuality All right. activism. Okay. Yeah. So so cool. I grew up around him. He was like Knowing. my first experience at the cinema. The first time on a plane was with him That's awesome. at the at the beach. So and he's HIV positive, and so we he always had the talk with us. And about how long has he been living with it? Whoa, like pr the last time I remember him saying how long he's been living with it, he had been living it, with it for twenty seven years. And he's fine, right? He's fine. That's good. He's yeah, fine. I was with awesome. him a couple of weeks ago on my grandmother's birthday. Yeah. And he's fine. He's just he hurt his foot. <laughs> Oh, shame, man. <laughs> but otherwise, he's fine. He's that's he's. Good. So I was always aware. All right. Of and I think that's why he's also he pushes a lot for us to get involved in, mm. um, in in community affairs. That's good. Basically. I'm trying to think. I wasn't oblivious about it, but I I don't think I was. Like as I'm saying, whoa. Yeah. Like yeah. I knew it was there, but it wasn't something that was on top of my mind, something that I thought about all the time. I guess it's different because, I mean, for mm. me, my godfather's like family. Yeah. So when yeah. you've got someone who's a family member who's living with it, then That's true. you're aware of it. And yeah. I feel like a lot of people, um, because they knew my relationship with him, they would talk to me about it. All right. You know, so I, I actually went to test with, a, with quite a few people. So basically what's happening with me and my friends now? Yes. Is that what's happening with you and your friends now? Yeah, because I talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, and for them, it's also an opportunity for them to ask me questions. Mm. How am I doing? And I'm just like, guys. So you, you, do you actually go test with them? No, I don't. Mm. But they go and test. Yeah. yeah. But it's something that we discuss as friends. It's not a taboo yeah, no. um, thing anymore, basically. Among my friends. Yeah. I try by all means to to educate them as much as I can, as well as invite them to good stories, um, yeah. On the next episode of Connecting Parallel Lines by Good Stories. Um, but I had baby during my marriage, very early, early in the marriage, um, because I wasn't really using any contraceptive, mm. and him saying that he's not longer going to uh, condomize came out of nowhere for me. So yeah, I had baby, baby's neg. That's the only time actually that I took ARVs, mm -hmm. so that I don't expose baby. Oh, so if if, if you're having a baby, yes. you have to take them so Correct. that you don't expose the baby. Yes. Okay. And then when I gave birth, the doctor's like, "Oh no, your CD4 count is fine. You don't." Or the so you had a normal birth. Everything yes. was fine. Yeah, all was well. 